I have been a maker since a very young age, always obsessed with some stupid projects to fill the insomniac nights. I'm sure you see what I mean, so I won't go any further. Now I wanted to show you this. This is the last project I've made before EB. It is a little 3D printer I had to create for my graduation diploma. Here you can see the mechanical design is good enough for a prototype. I created the user interface to slice the 3D models. Everything was going fine until the moment I had to design the final PCB to make the electronics fit in the restricted space. So the goal was to make a simple Raspberry Pi a shield able to manage the LCD, the stepper motor, the pump, cooling system and so on. A simple step in theory. I have made four PCB versions on Eagle and each has stupid mistakes, short circuits, bad datasheet readings, etc. Three weeks of manufacturing between each round, so I failed to deliver a working prototype because of that. In the meantime, I was working on the airdrum device we show on the main video, and it was exactly the same situation. A lot of failures in the PCB design, I had no tool in my apartment to debug it, and anyway, I didn't have the required skill to do that. And this frustration drives me since then. So I made up with this EB project, it was August 2017. J Production. I wanted to try to do something but I didn't know exactly why. So first I tried to create an entire electronic lab in a small machine that was running on a Raspberry Pi. Here is the prototype of the very first version of EB. There are motor testers, uh, multimeter pins, uh, power sources, etc. And inside of it, I made an, an interface able to design electronic circuit. It was really minimalistic using Eagle. At this moment, I discovered and designed the needed and offered paradigm, a completely new vision of electronics that um, EB uses and that I explain in another video. Anyway, with this prototype, I was able to create PCB with EB and load the schematics in Eagle to do the layout and the manufacturing. I made uh, the hand, I made Isaac and even the EB's main board with EB itself. I have been invited to the Geneva Invention Fair to present EB to the public. I was helped by a friend of mine and my wife. We found a lot of interest in the public. Gold medal, congratulations and so on. It was April 2018. I have been spotted by the IICT lab at the university where I graduated. Because I was obsessed with techniques, EB took different form during these two years. EB with the CNC inside, a project embedded device, a lot, a lot of stuff. I always wanted to add features more and more and without any strategy or market knowledge. Just prototyping after prototyping. One of my colleagues, which is still my uh, closer advisor, just yelled at me every time like, stop doing techniques, man. Focus on what matters. The most important thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. So I quit my job after two years of intense learning. I love them all, but I had to go. It was October 2020. So I became a real full-time entrepreneur with no skill and 20k for my personal savings. At this moment, I designed the global strategy to recreate step by step the initial idea of EB three main steps and this long-term vision is still untouched since then. First, access the maker and entrepreneur market with just the PCB design interface. The software is meant to create the community and the content and it is where we are right now. Second step, selling hardware machines covering the whole features you need in a hardware lab. 
PCB milling, acquisition, and powering, basically. There is a lot of potential if you link into the previous intelligent interface, because now you can imagine automi automatizing debugging, uh, component diagnosis, etc. The third step is what I really want to achieve with EB. With the previous steps, it will be possible to repair stuff really easily to make business in short loop economy by reusing the components in the electronic waste. Anyway, let's go back to the past. Uh, first, to implement this strategy, I started to make a prototype from scratch. Again, I took the year to write 60k lines of code in C++ just to have the minimal version. This version was completely independent. It didn't use any external software like Eagle anymore. Redesigning an entire CAD software tool from scratch is a lot of additional work. But now I have to admit, we have a fully independent software. We can do whatever we want without any external limitations. Now you can create your secret from idea to the manufacturer with only one continuous and simple interface and it makes a huge difference. With this brand new version, I made the first project prototype, the light switcher from A to Z on EB. Then began the business strategy design. It was in November 2021. First, I wanted to integrate a co-working area because loneliness was driving me crazy and I was looking for a good environment with coaching and stimulation. I have been accepted in Biel, uh, the city where I live, in the science innovation part, and I founded the Flash Tech company. A friend of mine joined the project at this moment, and with him, we started with our first market study. So we just sponsored a video on Facebook to present the project and promising a license to each person that filled out the Google form barely enough to get a sufficient statistical uh, sample, but the biggest conclusion was yes, there is a problem with theoretical knowledge in electronic design and people are indeed frustrated, just like I was. Some IP studies shown that it will be really difficult to get a patent on how EB works. The best protection we can get is the open source. If we release everything to the public, then we can be sure that there will be no big company uh, getting a patent on our own technology. So we pivoted to retrieve my first idea. Go with the public. Go with the makers. I went to every maker space in French speaking Switzerland. They were nicely equipped for mechanical design, 3D printers, scanners and CNC, but their electronic lab is always a bit restricted because of the tool cost and some lack of knowledge uh, in their community. In one of these makerspaces, I met Steve and he joined the project uh, this summer. He has a great entrepreneur culture and high IT and C++ skills. So EB is in beta version now, thanks to him. Now I look back on the journey, I feel like I took five years just to bring you the best proposition possible for the EB project. And this is it. I have anticipated to get everything ready for what is going to happen in the next month. We will release the beta at the beginning of next year. You guys will have access to it if you support us. Two co-founders will enter the team if the campaign ends well. The first one is a hardware engineer to help our pioneers to use EB for real. We will be there continuously to help and get precise feedback and user experience. We will be able to fill the database with the most useful components. The second one is a business shark with a lot of experience. With him, we will follow an intensive startup program called Hyper Accelerator we've just been accepted in. This is to prepare the next pre-seed private fundraising in June 23. So in the meantime, still we'll continue to develop and finalize the software and the student in the university here will design the outer router as a graduation diploma. So if everything goes well, in the summer 2023, we will release EB as a final product and we will have enough cash to finally get paid for our work. 
it will be the real start for a long adventure. I really, really looking forward to it.